Welcome back you beautiful people, we are Gemma and Campbell and this week we are on the hunt for the best wild swimming spot in Thailand. Since we last spoke to you guys, we waved goodbye to the beautiful island of Bali and set off for the land of temples, blue water and stunning beaches. After leaving Bali, we made a quick detour to Bangkok where we experienced for ourselves just how chaotic this city is before we flew south to the paradise islands of Koh Phi Phi and Koh Lanta for one of the most insane adventures that we have ever had. All of this is coming your way over the next couple of weeks, but for now let's check back into the beautiful island of Koh Samui as we celebrate one of the most bizarre and incredible Christmases that we have ever had. So good morning everyone from the beautiful island of Koh Samui. We actually got here a couple of days ago, for the last few days we've just been settling in, kind of getting to know the island. But it is Christmas tomorrow and we thought that was the perfect opportunity to bring you guys out on a day out in Koh Samui and show you just all the best sights that this island has to offer. Starting with a little hunt for a waterfall that sits just up there, a short hike away and I'm very excited to go and check it out. So what are your thoughts on Koh Samui so far baby? I really like it, it's a lot bigger than I thought it's going to be though. It's taken us 40 minutes to drive here which I don't know why, I just think island and I think small but it's just filled with beautiful beaches like from what we've seen so far I've like been blown away. I will also just note that the scooter there that's our little baby we got her for 200 baht a day which seems to be the kind of regular price here in Koh Samui and for the first time in a while it actually seems that motorbikes are not king here unlike Bali where like you could literally get away with anything you need to be a lot more careful when you're riding about on a scooter here. I just saw... <laughs> no, not there. Oh! Flims! Flims! Why did I think you were talking about monkeys? <laughs> Funnily enough, talking about monkeys so let's just take a wee breather because it's a steep hill, but it does seem as if there's not any monkeys here, which is very interesting because on every other island we've been to, there's been monkeys everywhere. Mm. Koh it does seem as if there's not actually that many monkeys. They look very out of service, unfortunately. The water doesn't look too pleasant either, to be fair. <laughs> I need to give the Flims a miss today then, but... <laughs> Considering we haven't had any rain, there's a lot more water there than I thought there would be. This is actually turning out to be much more of a trek than I thought it was going to be. We did not come prepared with this footwear. I tell you, this was an absolute saga. We're going the right way, then we're going the wrong way, then we're going the right way. Let's just hope this view is worth it. We can't go to a waterfall without going for a little shower, can we? rewarded by getting in and having a dip, which is just the best feeling ever after that, honestly. We were so, so hot. It's so nice to actually just cool off a little bit. I will say the one place that this reminds me of is the meeting of the three waters in Glencoe, one of our favourite wild swimming spots in Scotland. Just with that view over the road and the cute little pool that you can go wading in. The difference is, it is a lot warmer here than it is when you do it in Scotland. But yeah, definitely worth the hike up. And I just hope the rest of the sites we go to see in Koh Samui are going to be just as beautiful as this one. Oh, there it is. Look good. That view. We are literally on the sea. This is magical. I believe this. Merry Christmas to us. Merry Christmas to us. So far this has been worth every single penny. So we have just checked into luxury at the Escape Beach Resort which sits right on the northern side of Koh Samui. This was a little bit of a Christmas treat. Our parents asked us what do we want for Christmas and we thought well our suitcases are already about 15 kilograms overweight so how about we just treat ourselves to a little bit of luxury on Christmas day and this place is absolutely stunning. I was going to give you a quick tour, but yeah, as usual, it is an absolute bomb site. So I'm going to tidy it up real quick for you. Ta -da. 
this has to be one of the comfiest beds that we have stayed in. Now we've been lucky enough to stay in a lot of different accommodations across the world and so it's meant that we like to pick out the little things that we absolutely love about a place. One of the things I've really liked about staying here is the cushions. See if we're just sitting in bed at night working, maybe got something on the iPad. It's so nice to have a good setup where you can actually lean back, be comfortable. So this bed has definitely been a highlight for us here. A really good thing for us as well is there is a safe in here. Now, excuse the mess, but this little wardrobe area has been really nice as well. We can just kind of... Oh. <laughs> We can close and hide away our mess, which I quite like. And of course we've got a little sink area up with a mirror, some beach towels because there's a pool outside. There's also a cafe area where they do a nice big buffet breakfast. And we've got the bathroom. If you're a bath lover, there's a bath. And on to the best part. I mean, you just cannot beat that, can you? I think it's going to be so nice to wake up in the morning, come out here, do a workout, do some yoga, and just chill out here, looking across the water. I think for that, this is one of the nicest views we've ever had staying somewhere, don't you? I definitely think so. Just, yeah, it is really, really nice. Oh God. So we've come out now for a little wander around a cute little place called the Fisherman's Village which sits on the northern coast of Koh Samui. So our plans for today are, we thought since we're going around some markets and some nice shops around here in Koh Samui, why not we get ourselves a little souvenir. So we're going to go and pick something out for each other to open on Christmas Day. I'm really bad at gifts so this will be interesting. And I think just to make it a little bit more entertaining for you guys, our plan was to get one thing nice and then get one stupid gift. So we'll meet back here in 30 minutes. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. okay, what do I get? I'm so bad at buying gifts for people. Three bedroom house, maybe a bit too extra. Hello, hi. Come on, Gemma, focus on the task at hand. I mean, she does really enjoy 7 Eleven toasties. Yeah. Okay, so here is my problem. I have seen plenty of things that I would love for Campbell to buy me. Not so much that I want to buy him. I did say I was rubbish at getting gifts. I'm sure Campbell will like that. This is going to be so much harder than the first thought. That was a close one. That's it. That's the one. Success. And there she is. Success? No. Oh, no. Yeah. I have one success yeah. and one no success, but I actually saw some things that I kind of like, so oh, yeah, this good. is why I took the bike, because I want to go and have a look at them. This is so peaceful. I know it's lovely, isn't it? I love that little bird. I just love how much those dogs are everywhere. Come down to Lamai Beach and the sunset is just looking absolutely glorious tonight. And it's actually quite quiet down here in comparison to down the other end of Lamai Beach where it's a bit more noisy, there's a lot more hustle and bustle and bars. But this area feels a little bit more um, private. So we're going to sit here and enjoy the sunset, get our Santa hats out, get in the Christmas spirit and take some Christmas photos to make some memories of our first Christmas in Thailand. Yes, our hero! All right, Ta says she's got us a Thai gift that she's desperate for us to try. Yes, make you feel. Thank you first. You hero can try, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous. Yes. There's so many memes of foreigners try this and they were like, <coughs> they don't like it, okay. but then they can't, they can't leave it away later. So. Thank you. I'm nervous. You brought me wine and something to smell. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you like it, yeah? Mm. Oh, that's so good! <laughs> yeah, I love Let's it! Try it. Love Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's basically like vapour rub. Yeah, 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 we've got this in Scotland as well. If you get a cold and you're all bunged up here, then you sniff this and it like, blows your head off. It's good. Oh, no! No, no, no! You bring it back. Stop chasing him. You bring it. Ah, oh, there you go. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> the joys are working with animals. <laughs> I don't know who's more easily amused, us watching the dog or the dog digging the hole. Go! 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 
We spent the rest of the night catching up with our dear friends Ta and Hiroki, reflecting on the incredible year that we have had and planning the many adventures that we still had to come. It was, without a doubt, the best way to spend Christmas Eve in Thailand that we could have possibly hoped for. Christmas everybody. Not off to the best start. I actually left the presents underneath the bike last night so I need to go and grab them before we can do anything else. Ho ho ho! So let's open this one first. Here you go. This as well! Matching! Oh we have matching Christmas jammies. Actual look at how see-through <laughs> they are. Let's give these in three, two, one. Ta-da! Love it. This is exciting, isn't it? Woo, I know. Now today we're heading out on a long tail boat. It's a really nice, calm day. And we're actually doing a little bit of island hopping with a company called Head Out. One of the islands even has pigs on it, which is one of the more unique things that we have seen over here. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing that. And I think we're even going to do a little bit of snorkeling. Can't wait. So what do you coming snorkeling? You got a new pal coming snorkeling with us? Now the last time we went out snorkeling was over in Koh Phi where we saw some baby sharks in the water. So I'm very excited to see what we'll actually see this time. Oh wow. Well this honestly looks like a slice of paradise. As if it can get any better. That is the cutest pig I've ever seen in my life. The real pigs? Oh no, I like this one. So this island sits about half an hour from Koh Samui and the official name for it is Koh Mudsum. However, it does have a nickname for Pig Island due to the number of pigs that can actually be found on here. There are 100 pigs on this island, would you believe? So I'm guessing the island must be a lot bigger than what we would initially think because I've not seen 100 pigs yet. <laughs> I know they're so cute, but they seem to only want you if you've got food. I think you know the feeling of every boyfriend out there now. It's a hard life being a boyfriend, I tell you. I can't see a thing. Oh well, the water is so lovely and warm. It's always good to get in for a swim. Oh, it's such a shame how much rubbish has been washed up in that storm, hasn't it? So this is all the result of that monsoon that hit last week as well. Just such a sad reality. I guess, I guess the benefit is now at least it's out of the sea. And, and as long as it doesn't go back in, but I'm sure they're going to clean it all up now. It is just such a shame because it's such a beautiful place. Um, but yeah, at least it gives them the opportunity to actually go and clean up the beaches and it's a bit less plastic in the sea. Well, at least that sailing was a bit calmer than our Koh Lanta experience. Oh my goodness, honestly. Next week, guys, you're going to see... Oh, 
but it was absolutely chaotic. Thankfully that was a lot calmer. So as Gemma said before, we booked this trip through a company called Head Out, which is an online platform where you can find all different kinds of trips just like this one. This was actually kindly sponsored by them and we've actually really enjoyed it. It's not as good as some of the other trips that I've done, specifically in Gopipi. I thought the snorkeling trip there was just phenomenal. Unfortunately this one, again the weather wasn't on our side and we couldn't really see what like the kind of beautiful wildlife that Thailand has to offer. What do you think babe? Do you enjoy yourself? Just hold your feet! Whoa, that was close! <laughs> what do you think babe? Did you enjoy yourself? I have really enjoyed myself. I think the thing I like the most about these tours is just getting your hand held and just not really, you don't even need to plan anything, you just get told where you're going and usually it's some really beautiful spots because obviously they take you to these spots for a reason, they want to take you to the spots that are their favourite. Just as Camel said, unfortunately the water was just so murky and we didn't get that great snorkeling, but it has been really fun. Also just a heads up, vegetarian options weren't that great with lunch. Say la vie, what can you do? Let's go home. I am absolutely exhausted after today. To be honest, after this year, basically, we just wanted to say thank you so, so much. No matter how if you have just joined our channel or if you've been following us now for like the past five or six years, we just wanted you to know that we absolutely adore you guys. I mean, just can't thank you enough. We've had literally the best year of our lives. And I think this stemmed from like basically being out on a boat today and thinking like how lucky we are to be able to not only do all of these fun activities, but be able to actually call it our jobs is um, a dream come true for us. And it's never one that we actually thought we would achieve in 2022. Yeah, yeah. it's all possible. Thanks to the support that you guys give us and we just can't thank you enough for it. We are very, very grateful. What are we doing now? I think a nap is in oh, order so because much. I'm exhausted. We're gonna go and lie down by the pool. We promise ourselves during Christmas we're gonna relax a little bit more have a couple of days off so we're gonna go and lie by the pool it's happy hour currently Sounds and um, we'll catch up with you guys later on that is not a bad way to start the day is it that is the best way to start the day I think I'm definitely gonna miss being able to just jump out of my bed and go straight into the sea even just like lying in bed at night listening to the waves like this morning we woke up and it was just like such a nice way to start off so quiet so peaceful and all you could hear was the waves hitting off the shore yeah I'm definitely gonna miss it am I supposed to close this <laughs> Take that to the check-in at the airport. <laughs> Here we go. This is what they do. This is what those um, wrapping machines are for, isn't it? You just dump that down and it basically like cellophane it. <laughs> Success. Okay, so I think this right here is the perfect example of just how chaotic our lives on the road truly are these days. Look at the mess of this place. We've just received a really exciting message from what one of the most beautiful resorts in Koh Samui. And they want to collaborate with us. So we are going to pack everything up in here and we are going to shoot over there today and check in. It just looks stunning. This is the absolute downside of going backpacking with a suitcase. The roads in Thailand are just not made for it. Luxurious is this place. Like it is absolutely stunning. I feel a little bit like, who am I right now? Living <laughs> in somewhere like this. Like, is this our room? Are you ready? Yep. Oh no way! We've got our own pool. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel very lucky right now. This is amazing. Like, who are we? room tour. Look at the size of that bed. Love it. I am absolutely going to sink into that tonight. It looks so good. Okay, so it looks like we've got some welcome fruit. You'll be happy with this coffee machine. I am very happy with that. I really like these um, international plugs. That is very, very handy. We've got a TV here. I don't really think we're going to be doing much watching of that, to be honest. And over here we've got a kettle, mini bar, fridge, cupboard space, full like mirrors. Good. Ooh. And we've got a nice big glass window in the bathroom. Oh, that's good. 
so nice. that you can see outside while you're doing a toilet. I like that. It makes me feel in amongst nature. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen that in a hotel. That's because we're not used to staying in five-star hotels, Cam. That's very this true. This is really nice. <laughs> and also something I just noticed when we came in is outside of this villa, there's a little bit to the side with a doorbell and then a couple of signs. Usually when you check into a hotel, you've got a little bit that says like, please make up my room or do not disturb. This little bit here, if I press this button, outside of the villa, it lights up saying, please make up my room or do not disturb. How cool is that? Here, as well actually, turns on the jets for the pool. Big fan of that. Get your own jacuzzi, baby. We'll be going in there later. All right, time for some Thai cooking. So this is a papaya salad, which is called, I think it's called Sun Sun Dan. It's just a little bit mm, chili and garlic. That is what I can taste right now. Very tasty, but very, very spicy. Well, that's half a pepper. Do I drink the sauce? and go stick my mojitos. Mmm, that one's even better, Gemma. Coming to a van life cookbook near you, I think. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Mm. I'm feeling like very inspired to start a new year. I've had such a good 2022 and I'm like so excited to start 2023 and just like see what what we're gonna do and where it's gonna take us and what adventures we're gonna go on. It's so exciting, feeling very grateful to be here. Very, very grateful to be here. Very, very lucky, very blessed. Very thirsty. Shall we go and get another cocktail? Oh, why not? Last cocktail <laughs> of Kosovo. That's a good that. Too many bags, this as baggage. usual. What? Ah, oh, yes. couple caps. Thank you. We said last night, I, I bet you we forget that. I know, I said don't let me forget, but too much baggage, I know. it's increasing. One more bag. And so guys, we're gonna round this video off here. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope we've inspired you to come to Koh Samui one day because it has been absolutely incredible. What are we doing next? We are about to jump on a flight to Phuket where we are gonna be spending New Year. Now we're not gonna be vlogging Phuket, but we are gonna be featuring it all over our Instagram stories. So if you do wanna see what we get up to there, then make sure you go and follow us over on Instagram. And after that, we have so many bucket list adventures planned. One of them, which has been on our bucket list forever, and we are so excited to check it off. Yeah, I honestly cannot wait, but until then guys, we'll see you again in the next one. See ya.